bitch better have my money. Did uh, y'all talk about Tiger? Well, a uh, little bit. A little you bit? Did? Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah. we didn't talk on the air, though. Oh, that he, he fired the guy? Steve Williams was his rock. He, Steve Williams was with him, I think, 12 or 13 years. I, I think they... I think the, All right, Steve Williams was Tiger's caddy for 12 years. I think I got this. And they won 13 majors together, I believe. 13 and they, 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they won... Look, and I'm not looking at anything. And they won 72 tournaments worldwide, I believe. So what is the word that this happened? What, 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 what went I, wrong? I, want, I just wanted to have some life advice for, for Tiger. He's nuts. And, and other people. It, you know what Tiger's going through? We we all go through it, but we don't realize it. Did we yeah. say he fired him? Right? He he fired. Him. Okay. Yeah. Steve Williams got fired. Not well. This is an understanding because Steve Williams was, uh, was uh, really surprised. Like, what? Where's this fucking? Oh, coming he was from? he was Australian surprised too. He's just like, this yeah. is I I stuck with. And he Wait, he kind of snitched a little bit. But just to get all the oh, info really? out there, uh, Steve Williams was working with Adam Scott, another player on the tour. He got permission. Who's pretty damn good? He did get permission. Got permission. I would assume Steve Williams thought, you know, I'm I'm gonna do this so I I, I keep sharp because caddies have to keep sharp as well. They got to be walking these courses to keep their minds, you know, uh, sharp, whatever. But go ahead. But, no, but I was gonna say that Tiger. You could just here's a here what it is. Tiger has n absolutely no self awareness and mm. no self blame ever. Right. The, this is what happens in life. You you ever get those times where you go. You know what? I think I'm gonna kill myself, just because I'm my my I'm in such a funk that I don't even feel like fighting the funk I'm in. But you have to admit that you're in a funk, and then sometimes uh -huh. you walk around and you pretend that you're yourself, but you're not yourself. <laughs> Your swag is off. You know, I'm walking here. You know, you say hi to a to a, a little fat security guard girl. That you think, you know, you just go, let me upgrade my <laughs> let me upgrade my swag a little bit by, by helping some, some little fat girl out. Hi, uh -huh. fat girl, how are you? And she just goes, and you go, oh, shit. Oh, I was I'm doing that for of, you. This I'm fat girl right? just said, fuck you. I'm a piece you of go, shit. You go, your swag is off. Don't force it. Tyler yeah. is, his swag is at the ultimate low. Right. But he won't blame himself. And he's trying to pretend to be Tiger. He's running from tournaments. This he's scared. He's not. He's not hurt. He he's is scared. scared. What do you yeah. need an ACL for to play golf? And I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm sure this golfers that go. Oh, you go. But 47 year old men are playing golf. They they hurt all the time. The the, the back, the thing, the whatever. They're winning. An old man won the won the won the British Open. Old uh, out of shape guy. Looked 60. He was 45. Oh, uh, Darren Clark. He's he's a mess. Because he's a big booze hand. Yeah, now. Scottish but, mess. Uh, Irish, Northern Ireland. I'm Irish mess. And likes to smoke on the golf course. And he, yeah, and he yeah. won. That's, yeah, how, that's how you can win at golf. That was a big victory for him. Tiger can't be in. There's nothing he can do to be in that bad of shape. But what he's doing is he's he's trying to alleviate everybody else thinking that they're the problem. But right. Tiger's swag, he, it's a self-imposed rotting because <laughs> he 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 feel. He, it's not that he feels bad for cheating on his wife. He feels bad for his image being soiled. Oh, yeah. All tarnished. He was the golden boy. That, he but can't why, get past but that. But then why get rid of the caddy? Because he was a part of the old days. Oh. He's a part of, in some way, see, they're trying to say that the guy uh, st stood up to him and said, hey, man, you gotta, you have to uh, show yourself to, you, you have to build back up my confidence in you. You disappointed me and my family. I don't believe that that, that, that Aussie dude said that or New Zealand guy. They don't. They're men's men. Like yeah, yeah. They're dudes. He was a soldier. Yeah. He looked the other way. He knew exactly yeah, what Tiger was. He's a, dude, up he's a oh, yeah. dude. I don't even think he told Tiger. I think that was the the what he did for the news. But I think in 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 uh, in, in close, he's like, eh, Tiger, you got caught messing. And he's probably had a confidant. But but Tiger got bad. Somebody he's listening to. Is giving him bad advice. It can't be, you know. And his pop is there, so you, you know, I had a lot of respect with his pop. Yeah, but yeah. He's he has to say, wait a minute. He, you cannot force your swagger to come back. Right. You have to ride it out like any other wave or any other. I think it, your swag is like your, like nature. Sometimes nature's, you know, we going through this heat wave. Uh -huh. I think you go through the waves of your own. Spirit. I think we're attached to nature, and I think you cannot fight when you're whack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're whack, you when you're feeling good, 
You when you feeling good, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, this is this <laughs> shit. You just know it. You point. You let you you do every everything goes right. Right. When it goes wrong, man, don't fight it. The, the just game, don't just, fight it. Just let it what? Let it ride, let it ride out go. till you feeling. Let it run its course of badness. Like I call, I'll call a girl a bitch in a minute. Uh -huh. Okay, a strange girl a bitch in a minute. Sure. Hey, bitch. But if my swag is off, that goes horribly wrong. Hmm. Her brothers come out. <laughs> you know, the mother comes out. You know, right, right. Guns come out. You gotta you know. know when. Cause I'll be pretending to still be the guy that says, "Hey, bitch," but I'll be like, "Hey, bitch." Uh, <laughs> that bitch. Come out. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> you, and you don't even remember how to be you. You're pretending yeah. to be you. you. You also gotta throw into this that there's uh, steroid rumors with Tiger. Now you got the rage. So maybe, uh, maybe he's kind of going away so he could cycle out and all that shit. So faking some injuries. Uh, there's, a, there's some rumors out there. It could be, but he's so big. But he, the it, game it's is mental. It's mental, man. I do follow uh, golf pretty closely. Okay. The game is passing him by quickly at this point. Well, they got this other little Quick. white boy that they're yeah. praying ends up being good. But he's not that good though. Who McElroy? Yeah, he's good. But he he's, he's not he's tiger. just a kid. He's not a prodigy. He's no tiger in his prime. He's yeah, good, man. Not a prodigy. Michael Roy is good. He's good. They're he's all only good. like what is he? Yeah, they're 21, all good. 22? Jesus. They're all good, but they want a tiger. There's a whole bunch of young good players now. They do need a tiger. They need a tiger. But I don't I don't know if they're hoping McElroy could be a tiger. He can't be. That's for sure. I'll tell you why cuz he's white. It, it, mm, tiger's tiger mm. cuz of all the the the, the weird mixture the the fact that no other not only is he the greatest golfer of all time you know was pushing up there mm -hmm. but he also was he's an alien to the sport you now, know now he's gonna fall short of all the records well he's only thirty something he, he has to get what four of all he's gonna fall short he now. can't get four uh, when it's, if his swag gets back up man nah he gets another bitch he gets his arrogance uh -huh. back nah he's done you think so as far as nah, I, I would I refuse done, to say that he's done as far as dominating and who's his chick why he'll win a couple more majors maybe and a bunch of uh, you know handful of tournaments here and there yeah Elon's fucking his head up he needs to just stop it he's done as far as dominating though I'm who's she you. who's she fucking now I don't know it's just it's just on, incestuous world she just jumped on somebody <clears throat> that yeah. I believe was going out with someone Tiger was fucking. Fuck, you could tell. Yeah, yeah, you. Could oh, tell. Yeah, 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 I did yeah. hear that. Yeah, so there's a whole but she's fucking a, but thing she's, going you on. You could tell though, Tigers. They, they pass so, them around. Yeah. They, they, you don't get. That's why you go. Why well, do these these same girls fuck these same guys? Right, right. They they, they can't go out and go. Hi, how are you? One guy runs through and he goes. I like to introduce you to. My lovely whore, oh, Cindy, and uh, my one, of lovely them, whore. one of them wipes him up, man. <laughs> she was a fucking nanny or something. My lovely whore. <laughs> but don't you kind of see that in the comedy world, too, where some of the girls are, have been with a bunch I of the guys? I think it's everywhere. Yes. It depends on... Uh, it's everywhere. Yes, yes. absolutely. So the, it's probably Radio. Same, <laughs> same type of shit. The athletes are passing the same girls Show around. Bit, look the at The comedians Hollywood. are passing the same it's, girls look at around. fucking Hollywood. Right. Come on. One guy's <laughs> fucking this one. They make another movie. She's <laughs> fucking this guy now. Out. That's all. It's, it's all within your circle. Any set you go on, right? Yeah. Anytime you go on a set, movie set, TV, just go in there, look at who got a wedding ring on. Uh huh. If it's the grip, let's say the grip's married, go, so who are you married to? The electrician or are you married to the gaffer? Oh, I'm married to the script editor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's incestuous. It's, uh, it's very it's, incestuous. It, it, it's not, <laughs> you know. I don't want to lose it, this guy. Amazing. He's, he's telling me that he's friends with Tiger's ex. James, is this true, oh, sir? Oh, God. Oh, that's, me? that's good. All right, is your name James? Yeah. Then I, of course I'm talking to you. No, I didn't say he was friends with his ex. Stevie Williams' wife and Elon are good friends. Tiger and him haven't been talking for six months. That's why he got rid of them. Oh, right. my. Please tell me the broads didn't get involved. Of course, man. He got oh, no goddamn. God. Tiger got no code. He's never been. Nah. You, you heard his messages? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Not uh, for a second did he go, please, oh, Tiger Woods, me, shut up, Bert. Shut erase up. that message and please let don't. Me, uh, let me let me uh, make it about myself here and Anthony. <laughs> My stupid ex, <laughs> when Ant was going through that, that, that hell on earth divorce thing. Horrific. In the early uh, yeah. days of that whole thing. I find out my ex is, to, is driving her to the fucking lawyer's office. Yeah, that's I'm great, like, what the man. fuck are you doing? Thanks. How do you think this is this is the right thing to do? Right. 
she accepted just, a cruise on my fucking Amex. Amex? I paid. No, I know, but just the fact that she accepted the oh, cruise on my fucking ex's Amex, which, you know, so I, know this I live and shit. learn. Me and Ann are, you know, we're tight, and, and my ex is, is 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 helping his ex fuck him over. The last girl I was with for long term, when we broke up, I was at the Borgata at the time, and she's just like, yeah, I'm leaving. I was like, all right, yeah, here's the key to the room. She goes, no, I'm leaving. She goes, I'm going back to the house. I'm getting fucking new haul. I'm fucking leaving. I'm like, okay. I went to the dealer. I go, hold up, hold up on the deal. I push back from the table. I got my phone. I dialed American Express. Yes, could you cancel <laughs> card number three six blah 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 blah? Canceled, canceled all the fucking cards. It's like all right. I made another call. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's come back to the house, grab some shit. Just be there and make sure she just takes her shit. Okay. You know why? You learn the first time. You live and learn. You live and learn. Don't be a nice guy. Don't nice your way out of your oh, own happiness, nice my friend. be nice guy. Fuck it's the, that. <laughs> it's the trickle-down theory, my oh, friend. Oh, I went to the bank to get half the money out. That was great when I did that, when I was getting a divorce. Yeah, let me go down there, and I'll take half the money out, leave her with half, and we can, you know, go out there. And, and she's a and nice I, person. And man, I went man. down there, and I filled out my, my withdrawal <laughs> slip, and I went in the bank. Uh, One of the woman. greatest moments goes, I ever saw, by uh, the Let me get the manager. Like, goes, yeah, oh, you, God, uh, no. Mrs. Kumia has uh, emptied this account. Uh, there's, uh, you know, $1.50 left in here. and A joint like, account? Oh, yeah. yeah. So a joint, you can't, uh, can't, you can't take more than half in a joint, right? Oh, no, you can Oh, you could take it oh, all. You, you could take, take, all. take it all. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She took the whole motherfucker. Joint account. Every Either person could take account. all of it. Took it all. You really gotta trust someone. Having and a there account. I am going like, yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm like, motherfucker, <clears throat> I'm taking half that money, but I'm taking it right now, motherfucker. Fuck her. And I get there, fuck her, fuck me. And you wasn't <laughs> she even took saying the whole fuck thing. You wasn't even no, saying no. fuck her. No, I wasn't. I was just saying, Patrice, this is fair. Hold on, hold on. I was, I was a witness this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And I swear to you, that's exactly what Ant said he was going to do. Yeah. That's the fair thing to do. And I was in the lobby of that bank when that conversation went on. I went, uh, oh, no, no, But, no, but here's no, a dude, no. though. Here's a, this is dudes. I left like, wait, wait. <laughs> I, left, I left like the mayor of Amity when, when Brody wanted him to sign the paper in the hospital. But I, but I, but I was... I was just at the bank. I had money. <laughs> I had money. I was, what? It was, I was. Let me go back to James. So you're saying that the two wives there uh, are really close, right? Correct. And because of that, it, it messed up the relationship Tiger had with Steve Williams? Yeah, Stevie came back to the United States to caddy for him, and he stayed in Oregon instead of Florida. He said Tiger didn't talk to him for six months. Well, fuck, Steve Williams should have got rid of his wife. That's, yeah, but not really though, money. man. That that's really to be honest, dude, dude, dude cold, man. You <clears throat> you really rise above women shit. If mm. my girl But Steve Williams I wouldn't give a fuck if my girl was with her girl doing shit. Uh -huh. I mean, it just wouldn't affect me. That's what girls are supposed to do. It's like, nah, what are you nah, going to do? Man. Steve Williams' wife should have mm. understood that maybe you break off that friendship for a while. Get the fuck out of here. You just basically... That's what you do. But you, that's, that's, that's like you just... You, I'm sure she has plenty of friends. How close who were they, really? Who says that? Do they, uh, walk, do they walk around the course together once in a while? She didn't have plenty of friends, man. It's, I to, it's the, the, the life is incestuous, man. It's the, she it didn't have plenty incestuous. of friends. Oh, And the thing is, you just raise the bitch right. You just go, look, man, stay out of that shit. Talk what you talked before oh. you and her had a problem. Don't. No. You, I'm not going to tell her not to talk to the bitch not, forever. Please don't talk to Tiger's ex. Yes. Ain't going to happen. That's that's strange. It ain't going to happen. That's just not. Well, she should have you know, done that on her know. own is what I'm saying. Not, they're, they're, you she know what it is? She should have probably realized, oh, this every, is a little touchy situation. Every group is still in their own circle. You, you rarely go out of your circle uh, if you break up with somebody to find, like, something extremely new. Like, if you're at a, an office building and you have an inter-office relationship and you break up with that person, you're probably going to get together with somebody else at the office. Right. But, you know? It's just everyone's yapping at each other. Bringing it back to us, though. I mean, of we, course. We obviously had uh, uh, me and my ex had issues, okay? Uh -huh. And it certainly helped move things along when I realized you're fucking... You're helping out Anthony's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wife to fuck him over? But what, how, we, how is that going to uh, be good for us? What if no, there was a situation where your woman right. said to you, like, uh, she 
said to you, don't talk to Anthony? How could you, if y'all were tight, mm. and you know, your wives are tight, the whole right. thing, and something happened where she goes, how could you help Anthony stop being Anthony's friend? If your woman said that to you. Right. Because... I can't. I'm trying to think of the issue to reverse she almost it. Did. But it's like oh. you can't talk to you anymore. I think your ex almost did tell you that, Jesus, because she was real pissed at me when I, you know, moved moved along. Yeah, oh, she was, was she angry with me? But I never. Like, I always that. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm uh, fucking. I'm friend, miserable with my wife. My well, hold on, hold on. It's like my friendship with. But this thing with me and Ann, our exes, is it, it goes really deep because, for some reason, my ex at the time was extremely angry at Anthony because he's getting a divorce. And and anyone that was in that circle at the time realized that that marriage had some issues and Aunt was not fucking happy. She yes. couldn't see that because she had a father that left her family. So watching Anthony leave his wife brought back all these fucking memories. I don't it was kids. none of her but business. What if your woman it said, of her business. You, they don't want you to be friends with Aunt. Like, what if she was mad? Because you were supporting Anthony in this whole situation. Yeah. yeah, do the show and everything, but off the show hours, no communication. Mm. You'd be like, fuck you. Yeah, what? Fuck him? No, I wouldn't no. say fuck him. Fuck the broad. You'd fuck the like, broad. Fuck you. yes. I mean, you can't explain. It. So, so at the end of the day, you got to understand that. But look, I'm, I'm not my, my girls or never have ever been a friend with my woman's friends. Look, it's, it's, I, it's or, or my male friends... Why? Right. My 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 good friend of mine at the time, his wife left him. He let she left me too. Yeah, yeah. Like if I see in the streets, I'm like, your your credit card was only good because, like you said, you <laughs> called the bank. Ah, uh, yeah, it yeah. It was only good because the bank was called. Yeah, your credit's there's, no good here. <laughs> there's obviously no easy answer, Patrice. It's complicated, you know. It depends how tight your relationship is, I guess, to begin with. When you break up, but, uh, there are people that you just won't ever see or talk to again. Dude, and that's the plain and simple fact. Out of, I don't miss anyone from my ex's circle except one guy, and I saw him once. You know, he he was he's, he is married to uh, her sister, and I'm mm. bummed that we're not friends anymore. Why can't you be friends? It just because I don't want any. You don't want to be tied oh, in. I don't want any connection to that. Yeah, you shit. don't want to be tied in. So sometimes, you know, with with knowing. Unfortunately, when you break up with someone, you lose some people that you know you probably would really like to still you know hang with. I don't want to know. Very good friends with an ex girlfriend's someone I met through my ex girlfriend. Really? And he could care less. He's not like, oh, you left. He's just Patrice. I don't want to know matter. anybody. I, I respect that. I understand that, but I think that is uh, that's an anomaly. Yes, I I believe so. Not I, with dudes. Why would you say I believe, that? I think we can go to the phones right now, and a lot of people Man, will have fuck stories. Can you talk to these fucking guys that's going to call in a these, hey, these? I respect their opinion. Fucking Ooh. competitive hot dog really? eaters. They got no <laughs> fucking insight. <laughs> or or toes. <laughs> I think it's very normal when you break up with someone a long relationship, especially. That yeah, you 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 break up with that that whole fucking side. Here it is, man. Patrice. I have yeah. friends it with all, all kind of motherfuckers I've met because I'm I, all depends. My personality or your personality is not based on when you make friends with somebody in your in your girl circle. For dudes, it's not based on fucking you you. We You're don't right. get become friends with people we don't like. Look here. So when we like a guy, what? it's like that's my point. No, no, no. Fuck, here's the know? here's the deal. I got uh well one one ex that I still. See uh, her, her sister and her her, her brother-in-law and uh, kids and everything. That's fine. I have no problem with that. <clears throat> Still seeing to this day. To this day, just okay. the other day, they were over the house. But then there's other relationships where I don't want to even fucking know one person that is even close to that fuck. I just don't even want to know. Well, so I think it has to do with how you left. The, but it, it seems like you have the personality where you wouldn't be. Tight mm -hmm. with it, like I had a, a, an ex girlfriend, her sister was a hunk of shit, and her <laughs> sister's boyfriend was a hunk of shit. 
I didn't speak to either one of them. Yeah. I stared at them. When they try, I, and I love that uncomfortable, we don't like each other shit. I'm with your fucking, <laughs> that's why I don't get uncomfortable. If I meet somebody's parent, some woman's, at my age, her mother, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, hi, Mr. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Hey. And I hope you know that Born. I'm an upgrade for your stupid daughter. Yeah. And I, and I feel like that. So, so the guy, the guy, I never talked to the people that I didn't like. So I was, I ended up being mm. tight with, uh, with Gavin. Gavin right, is a friend. Right. I was met her through an ex-girl. She's mad that we're oh, friends, okay. but we are friends. Patrice, I, I'm really, uh, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm really just starting to let all this soak in. I'm thinking about it. I think maybe, maybe the the in my circle that the the friendship I had with that one person that I do miss out of that whole circle. Yeah. Maybe we weren't we weren't close enough to you know continue past the breakup. You were based. You you maybe, were friendly because you was with her. I liked the and guy. Then you dumped her off because you know. And uh, I can't speak for him. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we we uh, you know we related to each other. Let's just put it that way. But maybe yeah, maybe it, the friendship wasn't that strong uh, to last past the breakup. Because it was rooted, it was rooted in familiarity. I don't. I mm. had a, I had an ex girlfriend and she had a brother and a. I wasn't friendly with them. No. Nah. Like I just I, I was friendly with the people I was friendly with. Yeah, and that's and that's the only example I got to go on. So. I guess I assume that you just have to break up with the yeah, entire circle because that's what I did. But you're better than and that. I don't have other re ex relationships where it's applicable. I guess you 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 better than that. You're better than well. That. This guy's saying you're crazy. Uh, Joe in Arkansas says Patrice O'Neill is crazy. Why, Joe? He is. Like Opie says, you're friends with a lot of people. Maybe Patrice is different because he'll snob the people that he's you know. Oh, just because you're so and so's brother or you're so and so's friend, I don't have to talk to you. But when you're in a long term relationship, you end up having activities with people. Well, when you try to get with those people afterwards, it's still based on the fact that, hey, you're from so and so. And whether you end it or they end it, and I would say probably in 98% of all guys' relationships, when the exes go, the friends with them go too. Yeah. I got to tell you, I think Patrice completely turned me on this whole issue. Wow. Yeah. That fast. Because I think the friendships weren't strong enough to... They weren't real. Or real. And this yeah, guy... Because now I'm starting to think of... There was another guy in that circle uh, whose uh, wife was really close with my ex, and I really liked him, too. And he's in the business. Not radio, but, like, in the media business. So we we related at parties and stuff, and we talked, and I really liked the guy a lot. And we tried to keep it going after that whole thing, but it just was kind of awkward. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I realized, oh, I guess we don't really have much in common past the fact that we used to hang because uh, our girls were close. I'm just, the guy, Joe, Joe from what, no, one, no one turned me when you said Gavin. I went, fuck yeah, because I know how close you are with Gavin. And, of course, Gavin, who's been on our show a bunch of times with Patrice, He's the type of guy you don't let go. He's a solid fucking he's a dude. dude, man. He's, so, he's a dude. So he's I, a dude, man. I think you just turned me on the whole fucking thing. So, I think I the mean, relationships uh, that I had that were in the circle because of uh, my ex weren't strong enough to you know survive that. Obviously. Right. And, and if you hear if you hear Joe from Arkansas, ahead, he's Joe. saying the same thing. It, it he did, he you hear what he said? He said there's activities you do together like you go with the, the wife and thing bowling and the, yeah yeah I, I, that's the thing when people call me an asshole but i'm i'm a guy i love m women mm -hmm. i don't love women i love <laughs> i love them all yeah, so yeah to be with a one girl it, it takes a lot of things that you have to figure out how to make yourself happy and one of them is i don't do a lot of activities with her with her i don't or with her i i, I just think compromise i got four televisions in my house I don't compromise means one of us has to be unhappy. I don't <laughs> want right. to watch your shows. I don't want to go out. I don't like bowling. I don't like going to the beach. She went mm -hmm. to the beach with all her friends. See, that's the thing. This is the problem. What beach does she hang out at? Um, I, I, I think it's somewhere in, in mid Jersey. <laughs> you don't want, but but it's, you don't want to tell me that. But it's like sh you, <laughs> the way we are. Mm. We become close friends. Men become. We mentor each other. Women aren't friends like that. They they're not true friends. That's why they they think like that. If why would I? If something happened with you and Ope, mm -hmm. and it's like I wouldn't fucking choose sides. I'd be like, I'm still your friends. Right, right. I'm not gonna fucking choose. That's not dude shit. It's it's, it's yeah, not the way we do things, man. You're right. That isn't dude shit. But it it is it is relationship shit with guys and girls. It, you're you're right.
But it usually happens like you. I could be close friends with somebody, and this happened to me with one relationship. Close friends with somebody, dude, got always hanging out, and then when the 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 breakup happened, oh, I saw I no saw way. one drifting over to the to the other side, and and then wound up, you know. Fucking me over in some way, shape, or form with giving her information and things, shit like that. And that to me was like, goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. But yeah. that person would go, oh, you changed. Yeah, well, I don't give a shit with no, that. No, I know. I'm just thinks. saying. But I, like, I know exactly who you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that's that was when, pretty amazing to watch go down by. Yeah. Way. That's when men become not friends. It was when one, but that's why. Like from the training day uh, uh, scene, where it's like, hey man, just take oh. this money. Right, right, right. Dirt, it's dirty <laughs> money, man. That's how we become friends. It's like I can't allow dirty. you to just well, let, yeah. let me, dirty money, man. Let me go to Heather. Is it Heather Height? Hey, hi. How are you? Is it Heather Height? It's just Heather. <laughs> All right, I only know one Heather from uh, Long Island. I thought that was you. All right, Heather, what's oh, going no. on? No, um, I was married thirteen years, and um, you know we had the same friends. And it's true when you break up. You try to say you're not going to take sides, but it always ends up <clears throat> one side gets one set of friends, the other side gets the other set of friends, I, and that's how it always is. I think girls uh, pick sides way before guys pick sides. I, I agree with yeah. I, I agree with yes. Patrice on that. Yes, but isn't it a yeah. can I ask you a question, yeah. Heather? It did, yes. is was it? How did you have fr usually one person comes in with the friends? Like, so yeah. it's not that you have friends. It's that either. And I suspect Someone he had friends. Friend. Right. And then you became friendly with the friends he had because that's what usually happens. He he has a friend that has a wife or a girlfriend. You meet her. You like her. And you go, I like her. And now you all of you are friends. No one comes in with mutual friends because that doesn't make any sense. Let me tell you something. You have you're half right. A life. No, you're I right. have you're friends. Right. I'll hold, hold on two seconds. I have friends. That I had before I got married. I am still friends with them. But any friends that were made during the marriage, I have not seen. Because they, no, th those were exactly your right. friends. Right. She infiltrated. I came in with one yes. friend. I'm still friends with her. But the mutual friends I had, you know, that he came in, I don't speak to anymore. We started for a little bit. But now I got remarried. And my husband now has long friends, like 15, 20 years. So we kind of made a rule with each other. I'm absolutely friendly with them when we have functions, we get together, we have a great time. But I don't call them with problems or I don't call them to chat because when it comes down to it, girls are vindictive bitches and they will find anything to pick a fight over. And I don't want my husband to ever have to feel like he's got to choose between me or his mm. friends. So we just do functions together and we're friendly and that's pretty much it. I don't call them. They don't call me. You know, I keep my girlfriends, and we'll do, he'll do functions with them, but he doesn't get friendly with their husbands either because it just won't work in the end. All girls are vindictive. They want to make a problem. They want to cause drama. And oh, it's just bullshit. they do like the drama. Oh, yes, they that. do. <laughs> yeah. All right, Heather. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah, to this day, I'm embarrassed how some of that shit went down with the uh, Aunt and I's exes. Oh, God. Driving her to the lawyer office, going on a cruise with her. I'm like, I'm oh, like the what cruise are you fucking great. doing? I'm like, wait, she gone, went on a this, cruise? She, she Anthony's, brought Opie's chicken. It's like, oh, that's on my, my American Express card? Really? I really? paid. <laughs> I, I paid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was like, just the goal that <laughs> she would do that. It's just a like, But what is the difference, though? Let, let's, let's... Well, can let's, I... Let's, hold on, just so you got all the facts. I mean... This wasn't a typical divorce, man. She wanted fucking Ant's heart. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, because I know people get divorced and all that shit. You two being friends. Yeah. What is the difference between you two staying friends and Could, them two staying friends? Well, the difference. We're like business partners, too. Yeah, man. yeah. We, we're business. You know, we have a business together. We're still friends. We're, we're you know, we have very different lives now. No, yeah. I mean, in, that, in, the, in the scope of that situation. In the scope of that situation, and in the scope of that situation, actually, me and Aunt, uh, back then were a lot closer than we are now, but yeah. just because of you know what was going on in our lives were similar lifestyle, and, and we also had an amazing radio show that we were keeping together. They were friends in commiseration, right? Not okay. friends in 
Hey, the, I don't. I honestly don't think they enjoyed each other's company. I would, it's I that, would, it's one, that thing you know, mutual. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. They would, had something in common. They fucking hated these guys that fucked them over. I, I didn't even fuck my ex over. I'm and saying there. You, th that's you didn't, fuck, you didn't fuck your ex over. Dude, I'm either. just saying that's their no, point of view. Because we're we're good guys, believe it or not. In the end, uh, that's that's absolutely right. And I would bet money, and I don't know because I don't give a fuck. But I, I would I would I would bet a lot of money actually that they're not even friends anymore. Probably not. They're probably not even friends well, anymore. Well I did see one picture of a marathon or something that your ex was in and my ex is standing there kinda like, hey, giving her a little smile and uh, now would it change if you thought know. they were still close friends, would that change the whole idea of what you're talking about right now? If what they do you mean? if they were still friends to no, this day. No, I'm guaranteeing no. they're not friends. And I don't know. I'm guaranteeing. I don't know either, but for, I saw a picture and uh, on someone on on someone's Facebook, it was a, a picture of both of them, and it was like I think it was your ex going, oh, and here's my good friend Jennifer. Oh, I so I I don't know, you know, when that was taken, what it was, yeah. where it was from, but I think I think they their their whole friendship was based on the mutual disgust. Of of their previous relationship, you know, the, with uh, with us and stuff. They were yeah, they were yeah. unhappy. They love that. Yeah, they could get all catty with each other. They were unhappy. We were unhappy, mm. but we were so distracted by the radio show that oh, yeah, you know. But yeah. they were unhappy with having nothing else to distract. Them. I don't give a shit. Clean the cat box, you fucking pig. <laughs> That's that was my fucking thing. How about how about when I come home? Don't try to treat me like a hub, a hubby, like the normal run of the mill. Just got home from work, hubby, uh, to take the garbage out. How about you get your fucking ass out there and haul the pails to the curb? I, I just did a radio show. I can't believe you're the same guy. Oh, it's amazing God! To me. I wish I was this guy that, that back then. It's amazing to me. Oh, do I, I wish I was this guy I'm, back I'm then? I'm thinking about doing the, the whole plunge, like the, the, yeah, you know, my woman. But I, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you. Other than finances and this and that, look, I put her through enough where I think she if, deserves. She, if she wanted to fuck me, she yeah, could yeah. never really get back at me for the mental <laughs> abuse. Uh, yeah. But it might, it, this may seem so petty, but you know what I don't want to do? Mm. I don't, and it's getting there because we've been together so long. Yeah. I don't ever want to um, have a discussion about everything. I don't want to have a, a meeting uh. about anything I want to do. Right, like anything right. I say, I'm, I want to go here. I don't want to. You don't want to have. I don't want to have to always come up discuss to, to a committee. I had a friend come up, and he wanted to bring his girl and and and, and crash at the house. Yeah, yeah. And my girl had something to say, like no, it, no. whatever it, she had to say was, nah. it was inconsequential. It was just the fact she. I got to you know I have to go. I have to hear that you might not be in, into it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like I, that whole we're a we're a partner uh -huh. and we have to. Everything has to be discussed. No, like I, 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 I bought. Why if I buy should it? Eight hundred dollars shoes. Uh -huh. I, I just want to buy them. I don't want to ever think I have to discuss. Uh, is that a wise yeah. thing to do? Is never want to buy. Never want something. to justify that you decide you just want to uh, hundred dollars shoes. One I day. think the partnership is what bothers me. That idea of of yeah, you're you're now a business partner and a. Uh, a partner in property and, and a partner and, in and decisions. Especially, I don't know where you are with your woman now, but especially in the beginning, the, my thing is there's a time where in their heads they feel like they they shouldn't say something. Like so, when you first meet them, they got nothing to say. Uh -huh. But it's almost like they're trying to get promoted or upgraded to this place where they think they have an entitlement to actually say things in your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to discuss. Anything that I want to do, I, no, I just want to do what I want to do. Here, here's here's the, the 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 Anthony of of now. I don't discuss anything. I go, hey, guess what? So and so, so and so, so and so is coming over and they're going in the pool, and they're hanging out today. Hey, I just got a call. This one's coming over. Oh. Just gonna drink a few beers. It's not can this per and it used to be. Uh, is it all right with you if this person comes over? And there are certain circumstances where I'm not just fucking blind to everything. If if the girl's sick or something, I'm not going to be inviting a party over the house. I do have some compassion. But if we're just hanging around and and, and the, the evening pretty much looks like we're going to be hanging out watching TV or, or something, and I get a call that, that people want to come over and hang out, I'm not going to say, hey, do you mind if people come over? And that isn't out of being rude. It's out of... I want that. I want people to come over. I want to hang out, and that's what's going to happen. 
There's no disrespect. It's me. It's my fucking house, and this is what's going on. You want to take a weird call today? The king today? of my castle, Norton. You want to take a weird call today? Yeah. Dennis from Babylon <coughs> dated my ex after we broke up. Oh. Uh, so he says. And also knows <laughs> your ex. Oh, I know how to be Dennis, good. who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Uh, I'm a big O and A fan from like the NEW days. There's no way my ex would have went out with an O and A fan. Dennis, where are you from? <laughs> There's no way. Babylon uh, says. I'm from Babylon. Yeah. Babylon. Uh, I was actually yeah I was actually hanging up in Huntington one night mm -hmm. and uh, did not know your ex from a hole in a while. I just actually started talking to her. Which one are you talking about? Mine. I'm talking about uh, Obi's. All ex. right. And. Um, I just I was at this Mexican restaurant next door to Opie's brother's restaurant. I forget the name of it. Oh yeah, she used to. Um, I did know this because my brother told me this. She was trying to tell the whole fucking town not to go to F H Riley's because I'm a bad guy. The fan, we're all bad oh, guys. That's good. Even though I did the right thing when I fu when the relationship broke up, and then she would hang out. I did know this at the Mexican joint right next door to ours. Oh, right, good. and that's where I met her. So I, I think this guy's telling the truth. Yeah, it does. How was it? Well, what, the Mexican? Uh, no, how was, the, how was the How was the box? Was it delicious? Well, get there. I don't give a fuck what he says. Go ahead, Dennis. Mm. Continue with your story. I hear it. Was no, she, was, finger. She, was, she was cool to talk to, but I had mentioned that I had just come from F.H. Riley's and that I was hoping to run into you guys being a big fan. And she was like, oh, so you're a big fan of O&A. I was like, yeah, yeah, I listen to him all the time, yada, yada, yada. I went out and got XM uh, yada, 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 yada. just for you guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> And he did uh, say, yada, yada, yada. she said, well, you know, my brother's name is Rick. <laughs> and then it started dawning on me that, oh, my God, Rick Delgado, the producer. And I, I, my, my jaw just fell on the bar. Another I, winner, I by the way. But go ahead. Yeah. So it, it just so happened that, you know, she was your ex. So, you know, we had fun that night. I was with a buddy of mine and we were all drunk. So, I mean, she, she was she was cool about everything. So we agreed to meet up another night in another bar in Huntington. Oh. And it just so happens that Anthony's ex-wife was there. <laughs> what I year was this? It. What a treat this sounds uh, like. I would say this was about four years ago. You almost know our hell. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe You're a lucky devil. <laughs> dude, exactly dude sure. did she what get completely you? snotted drunk? Well, uh, I, I don't know whether she was drunk or not, but I didn't know it was her because I don't know her on site yeah. until Opie's ex whispered in my ear that that's Anthony's ex. Ah. And she... I, I, hope just, you didn't, I hope you didn't mention fathers when you were my ex, because that would have ruined your fucking night. No, no, nothing like that. Um, <laughs> I, just, I just felt very... Leave me out of your conversations! <laughs> that's not to you, Dennis. So what... Uh, I, have I, a I life don't, without I me. I don't remember a lot about... The only thing I really remember that stood out was that Anthony's ex, was just very standoffish and looking at me like I committed some kind of crime. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, the feeling of ill will. <laughs> right. He was there. Coming, coming <laughs> he, oh, yeah, yeah. He was there. This is the real deal. <laughs> he was you know? there. This is the real she deal. Would, she would look at you me were in the belly of the happen. beast, my friend. You were there, well, man. You, you didn't there. even well, know. I mean, <laughs> you were right by fucking Godzilla and Mothra. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know it. And I was just not having a great time. Uh, I decided well, neither were we. on good terms. Uh, Opie's ex called, I don't know, maybe a couple of days later and mentioned something about uh, celebrating Passover or some other Jewish holiday, and that was what? it for me. I was done. <laughs> She's not Jewish. So nothing happened? Jewish. You dated her? Or did you... that, that's what Opie's ex uh, mentioned to me. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Did he date her or he just met yeah. her? Did he get a, you know... No, no, I, I never had any relations with her whatsoever. I only went out with her, I think, two times, maybe three at the most. Uh, so maybe dating is the wrong word. Uh, hanging out is more like it. Yeah, she was good at hanging out. Oh, man. Yeah. That was about was, it with her. And that was about it. Don't get me fucking it, started. Man. Thank you, Dennis. I didn't have much anything else to add, but... Uh, Sounds like a treat. Yeah. What an evening. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys next Thursday at the Hard Rock. Oh, sounds oh, good. How about that? Yeah, that's going down. If you want to be part of the uh, Hard Rock uh, Cafe broadcast next Thursday, 8 to 10 a.m., <clears throat> excuse me, go to our Facebook page, uh, Opie and Anthony on Facebook, and you have to RSVP and all that, so... I want to yeah. fill that joint up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Ugh, I'm all like, yuck now. Are you? Why? Yeah. hate thinking about that fucking mess. Just because of what, the damage? Uh, bah, 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 bah. It's... Sweetie, sweetie, please, look, we're going out tonight. <laughs> Could you please not drink too much? And, and if you do, just remember, like right now, there's no problem, right? 
Yeah, there's, I know. There's no problem. So, like, in, in like a few hours when we're hanging out, there's still going to be no problem. No, I know. I know. So after some shots of Jack, like, like, remember, just try to remember that we're not having an argument. There's no fight. There's no problem. This is you talking to her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is okay. every night before we went out. <laughs> That's not like what a woman would say to a guy. Oh, it? no. It's like, please. No, no, I know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fast forward. Not even fast forward. Just quickly hit fucking one chapter ahead mm. on the remote uh, after a few shots. Yeah, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> fucking, I don't need your bullshit. It's like, remember when we talked at the house? Look, remember? Look, look, look. I'm trying to be civil here. We talk, We spoke at the house. Do you remember me saying there wasn't a problem? Well, there is now, motherfucker. Was you, was you, was you um a square before you, you was with her while you was a square, right? Then, then she, uh, she was with you on the ride to the radio, right? Mm, was, uh, no, no, man, right, right. So right. I, I got into radio, but I hadn't gotten like the NEW shit. So, so she had got she had with a taste you. of the Boston market. Okay. A, 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 a. So you weren't like you weren't the, the fucking air, air conditioning guy. No, no, no. Once I became the, the radio guy, I really didn't give a fuck and didn't. Was didn't she hot? Have those speeches? No, she was regular Long Island white trash. Really? You know. Yeah. You yeah. didn't know your potential, and she caught you. I was a fucking tin knocker. Yeah. She fuck do I know? I'm she fucking trying to. I'm I'm there uh, uh, trying to fucking argue with my boss for a fifteen cent an hour raise and all that Long Island happy horse shit. Yeah, I think she was. Fuck. I think she was scared of success or something. She wanted to just be, you know. Well, she was scared of on a level. Um, she was scared of what would have eventually happen. Oh, she knew the deal. Yeah, she. You know, she women are that women are horrified of that. She, she was probably just trying She's to like, keep Ant down. This oh, motherfucker makes a few bucks. I, look, yeah. man, I'll He's go. He's so gone. Yes, <laughs> Ant didn't fucking nothing wrong. He cleans he, up a little bit. He fucking you know puts on some clothes, gets himself a nice car, gets some some money under his belt. Uh, she's so gone, and she was so right. But she could have, <laughs> she could have done some things. She could have bettered herself and this and that. Uh, but chose like not I said, to. she had years. She years. chose not to. I would say she could have become a doctor in that time, with all that money and all that time. She could have fucking gone to school and become a fucking doctor. Think she blew through everything? Think she's... I can only hope so. I can only. But horrible hope women so. always seem to find somebody who's going to marry them. Though, uh, can I can I deal with something, Aunt? Yeah, I don't Once and for all. Eric in Jersey, go ahead. Obi, come on now. You never really paid Anthony back. Why? Because why, that's, why, that's what you heard on our radio show? Yeah, and I'm a stupid listener. <laughs> <laughs> Once and for all, we made uh, we made into some good radio, but I paid Anthony no, back. No, I got paid back. I was mortified by that whole fucking thing. We had a whole thing where I'm like, I'm not paying you back and all this, but you get it from her. Yeah, I, I said all that, but of course I paid him back. I was mortified. Yeah. Paid him what? About what? For the cruise that uh, he, uh, my ex took his ex on. Aunt's ex was so depressed she had to go on a cruise, and she paid brought, for, oh, brought right, my right, right, my girl to town. Okay. And my girl goes, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers had a soap opera back. God oh, yeah. only knows and what she goes, was yeah, going I'll on, go. on that cruise too. Probably uh, just drunken, try to fuck everybody and, on the boat. Who knows? And then Antex thought it was her money. So she's like, I'm paying for everything. It's a, This is on me. Hi, American Express. Yeah, like, I don't, We're not uh, doing this. You can't do this. I didn't make this. that charge. Whatever. It's one of my employees used the card. Um, I'm stepping out of character, though. I was mortified, and of course it paid Ant back. We made radio out of it, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh, dear, the, oh. Fucking women, huh? She was the what? Oh, my dear, sweet Lord Jesus. I'm due for a big. You don't know all big, these stories, Patrice? A big Patrice? ball kicking. No, this a big is an ball kicking. Are oh, you? Yeah. No, the, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, ball, I'm due. Yeah. I'm due. Can, can, I, can, I, mm. can I tell Patrice a couple of my favorite moments? Oh, wow. And you could, you could get me with your favorite moments. Oh, no. Me and my ex. I've, I believe me. I've, There's I've, two that always stand out. We used to drive in uh, together, and we lived probably a half a mile from each other in Huntington. Oh, so, yeah. So we'd take turns driving in. You know, one guy would deal with the fucking commute, and the other guy would sit back and chill, right? And I would, I pulled up to Ant's house one day. Well, there were two. I, I pulled up to bring him into the city. Yeah. And he's on the front stoop, and she's yelling and screaming at him. And, and he just woke up. I'm like, he gets in the truck. I'm like, how the f 
fuck is she mad already? The day hasn't even officially begun. Yeah, yeah. What could you have possibly done? And I think she wanted you to vacuum or something before yeah, you went yeah. to work. Your job is to vacuum. And it's she like, wanted don't give me these vacuum. jobs in the house. How about my job is to go out to my job, motherfucker? <laughs> Right. And how about you stay home and you do everything for the fucking house? Because she wasn't working. Because she wanted it to be like, oh, I have a say in the house responsibilities. We got to divvy this up. And I do this <laughs> and you do this. <laughs> Fuck you. By, by the way, footnote, great, greatest thing in the world is to call a woman a man swear. There's oh. nothing better, <laughs> nothing more <laughs> fucking exhuming of your soul than to call a girl an asshole oh. or a fucking dickhead. She was a dick. <laughs> Mo and, cocksucker, <laughs> motherfucker. Then the second one, which is even better, I pull up to Aunt's house where he was living at the time. And, wait, wait, uh, oh, is he uh, just uh, on the way in? Is he just staring out the window like, what am he, I going to do? No, because I think as uh, soon as we hit the uh, the LIE, yeah, 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 then it was we all were fun. rocking because we knew that we were loving doing the show, yeah. and we knew we were going to have more naked chicks and all sorts of crap. Yeah, it was going to be a lot it of was, fun. And then, like, but the drive home was like, <sighs> yeah, as you got closer and closer to Huntington, you knew. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> so I pull up to uh, drive slower, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh no, this is even better. So I pull up to Ants. Oh. And there's candles in the window. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not Valentine's Day or fucking... Uh, there was candles everywhere in the house. Everywhere in the house. All I can say is, there, I don't think there was a light on in the house, but you could see <laughs> you could see there were a lot of candles lit. <laughs> and it's no Jewish holiday and none of that shit, right? Nice oh, and macabre. Oh, 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 it's like, weird. What's, what's, going, what's going on? I go, what the fuck's going on, man? I went, oh, shit. It's fucking romance night. <laughs> She lit all these candles, and I'm like, I'm like, just, I go, just drive around the block, just drive around so the block. Just would drive so he, he was just driving around Huntington. I'm like, until, I, until he could get his, him, <laughs> until he could get himself together to go in the house so like, for a romance. Right, oh, and right. you had to fucking stuff it in, try to. No, no, no. I had, a, I had it. My job at that point was to go in and say something to get her pissed. So I wouldn't have so to fucking have to deal with her. Man. Because all I did was I walked in. <laughs> the first thing I would do is look to my left and look at that computer and know Half-Life was on there and that I was only halfway done with that game. And I wanted to fucking get on that computer and play that game more than anything. And she's like, I made you dinner and this. Oof, and, oof. and I'm like, fuck this. Oof. All I want to do is try to fucking, I got to get through now, fucking wait, Black Mesa. So. I got to figure did this you, shit out. Did you not? It was your it was it based on resentment or you wasn't attracted to it anymore or not you just attracted. go the 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 cuntiness took you away cuntiness not attracted resentment uh wanted out ha hated the, so the bossiness she do... hated the dr the the angry drunkenness was she good in the in the sack uh at the beginning yeah uh, then it just got like you know the the belligerent drinking thing was like like I'm a happy drunk guy I'll drink I'm smiling I'm fucking whatever she'd have a couple of shots and wow Kazawi she'd be off the just rails. be fucking asshole I just fucking fuck. and she left you oh well she left well, me for good reason no 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 I bring when you bring girlfriends home no 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 <laughs> not, not the reason I'm saying but she left you she like she made the move for y'all not to 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 get to divorce, she uh, made the first move. Oh yeah, well she went to the lawyer first. I, I, I mean, I you made the first the move house. by having bitches in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I left that one day. It was it was classic. <laughs> she fucking. I, I'm I'm in the living room. I'm sitting on the couch with a girl watching TV in my house. I don't even care. I didn't tell her not to come home or nothing. She was out at a bar. She comes home. She's all fucking hammered. Trying, she walks in the door. She's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" So the girl turns around and looks. I'm like, "Ah, oh, don't worry about it." Oh you know? goddamn! And the girl, and she's like, blah, blah. "I go, you're fucking hammered. Like, what are you doing?" She goes, "I'm leaving." She turns around and promptly just falls completely <laughs> forward. Her head hits the screen door, and now she's half in and half out, <laughs> laying out of the thing. I, I, and then I turn to the chick that's on the couch with me, and I, I'm just like, "Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with." That's what I'm dealing with. Please tell me you kept fucking the girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking give a shit at that point. With Leave. your wife's ass half Leave. in. Half in and half, half out, out the fucking door. 
half in, half out the fucking uh, front door. And the question that comes up a lot, Classic. and, and Ann has uh, answered this many times, Ann, why'd you marry the bitch? That's what Jay is saying. Oh, because I figured uh, uh, I had to uh, get married to be like looked at like a guy and not like a kid still. Because every time I would go to the bar that my mom worked at, all the guys would be like, hey, look, it's Rosie's kid. Hey, Rosie's son. Hey, hey. And I was always like thinking, when am I going to be treated like a guy? You know? And I figured, all right, this will this will help. So let me just grab this fucking Long Island mess up. Can I ask you something that I've never asked you before? Uh, completely not, hetero. No, 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 no. no I will not, not do that with you. It, it, <laughs> it's not that bad. But you're obviously a highly intelligent guy. Uh, <laughs> so why, why, why logically does that make sense in your head that you wanted to be known as a guy? Like, this is... I don't understand that. And I know it was before radio and all that, but you could have had a very happy life being single and, and being a tin knocker. Not really. a guy guy like that. Yeah, I don't like understand why you would fall I for was, that. I was always looked at as a kid. Like and my I was so irresponsible and everything that I was a kid all the time. And I was in I was like I was fucking th thirty. But you're willing like, to settle for something. Kid. You're willing to settle for something that wasn't right, though. Yeah, not even really close yeah, to right. Yeah, but dude, listen, man. That's it. Being a man, it, I'm 41. Mm, mm. I want some. I want someone to give me like some kind of credit when I fill my gas tank all the way up. <laughs> Instead of putting 25, yes. I fill it. It's it's a man thing to do. Yes. To pay your bills on time, to buy fucking I have dogs, I buy wee wee pads for my dogs. Wee wee pads. To, to go out and buy responsible shit. Right. Do responsible shit. Be a provider is a big fucking deal. Order your checks. And it, 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 being married <laughs> is, it just that's what marriage is to guys. It's yep. like all yep. right. What we are, we're childish creatures. It can't be right to just want to stick your dick in any pussy anywhere. I, I'm going to settle down. I'm going to buckle down with this one woman and be responsible and be a yeah. man. I, you pe motherfuckers do that because th that's the that's on page two yeah. of the life book. I'm lost. You fucking have to do that. And then when you go to the bar where, you know, my mom is tending bar, and you go there, and you got a wedding band on, like the other guys that are hanging out yeah. there. Now, you know, hey, hey, buy these guys a drink. Yeah, there you go. Look, I'm one of the guys. Now I'm fucking, I'm an adult. But did you understand at the time, the other side of that, that you were going to be in something that you weren't going to be happy with? Logic uh, gets overwritten by that shit. Did Believe it? me, if my brain power was able to bash through that wall, mm -hmm. it, it would have kicked the shit out of that dumbass idea. There's a lot of kids who are product of... Oh, yeah. Of, of Thank God that never happened. Hey, this is... Oh. That's why the, these kids are growing up so... Because it's they're unwanted, really. Yeah. It's they're pregnant. They're they, they have kids because they really... Right. Thought it was what the thing to do. to do. It's like you had to do we it. Got married. All right. Now I got kid. All right. Now. And then they don't want to admit that they resent the kids. Yeah. And that makes it even worse if they go, "Shit, I fucked you up." Like you're the, a fuck you up. You didn't do the kid thing, though, Ant. No, thank God. You pulled out. And now, believe me, now I love the fact you came on your wife. That I used to. F I used to fake that I came. No, you can't. And then I jack it. Did you squeeze the lotion on it? No, no, no. I would just be like, 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 because she was like, oh, yeah, I want to get pregnant and shit like that. And I'm like, oh, so I, I'd bang her, bang her. I'd be like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, that was great. Oh, and then I'd pull out. She wouldn't feel the, the gunk? She would just lay there. What the fuck? You, you know. She wouldn't look for it? Well, yeah, if it was that, shit. but That's if it's weird. that far in. If it's like that far in, you have it, and sometimes it just doesn't come out unless they get nah, up to go to the bathroom. Nah, never went that far in it. And shit. It yeah. goes halfway in. Like, right Ann's, nah. Ann's, got a, <laughs> Ann's got a Lincoln log, oh, yeah. so he's fucking, <laughs> he's shooting right through the cervix. I was just right through, fucking right into the... <laughs> All hit, the cum. Hit, <laughs> hit, her, hit her sternum. <laughs> Aunt Spermies is hitting the kidney. <laughs> All like, of the kidneys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'd make sure up. it was something like that, you know, like, <laughs> like the that. fuck up there? And then I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then I'd go in the bathroom. Get rid of it. That's just and that's that, just shocking and abusive. Just because I did not want to have a baby with this fucking woman. Uh, seriously. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. at what point though? Okay, so you fell for mm. the the okie doke with being with her. Yeah. But yeah. how? Well, why didn't you fall for the kid okie doke? Meaning, so by the time you was gonna have kids with her, you had yeah. already been to the to the brink of misery. Yeah, yeah, far it got, deep in the middle. Because I said, "Here's the plan." I go, I go. We'll get married, and then five years, we'll have kids. 
because I don't. I want five good years of just hanging out and having some fun, vacationing, doing things. And this is when I was still not content. And then after five years, we got the job in radio, and I said, "Look, I can't be having a kid now. I'm just kind of this radio." Wait, was gig. you with her during that five year decision? Yeah, yeah, I was with her from like 1990 to 95. Which was when we got into radio. So after five years, you got she's like, radio. "I want to have a baby. I want to have a baby." I'm like, "I go. I just got into radio. I can't be." I'm wait, no wait, wait. I'm lost. I'm lost. Wait. Yeah. You, that five years, you said no radio. Was you? I mean, no Not kids. Content, yeah. You was you was with her. Yeah. So you were with her when you were had a square job. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, oh yeah. That yeah, means yeah. a lot. Yeah. That means a lot. Radio is what fucked you up. The the fact that you were no radio with, set me straight. No, it, it gave no, no, him, I, fucked you up. With, it gave him confidence. Fucked you up with her. Yes. Meaning in her eyes. Yeah. That was a supreme upgrade. Yes. You've been that. See that it, that's important. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She didn't very. have the the ability to see you be a better human being. Mm -hmm. So I I, I, did, I thought you were right. with her in radio, which no, was no, a weird no. Oh, story. I never would have gotten that. The, and your ex was you. Options. You was always kind of in radio, though. I'm 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 the Doogie Howser of radio. You were in radio doing this since when I was you hooked up with her. Yeah. Before I did, I hit puberty, I was doing radio, and I'm not. It's not even a joke. Right. Yeah. yeah. You you that that you were with her a long time, so she saw. That's like almost you hit the lottery. Yeah, that's she exactly. Saw you with the lottery. And she hit the lottery after that. Right, but yeah. but you can see where you know she she only dealt with losers, or or not losers, right. but you're right, just yeah, normal yeah. fucking normal Long Island morals. trashy fucking carpenter roofer fucking. And working I'm not guys. putting down those guys, but call them losers, you know, believe me, those I jobs just, I, suck. I don't want to say lo true, true those working jobs guys, suck, and yeah. I know it because which I was there. Is, which is a, a different mindset. That's right. All. I don't want right. to say yeah. I don't mean loser, but Real I mean jobs. to her. To to <laughs> her, you right. were. The dude that she could deal yeah. with, and then yeah. when you got in the radio, and push around. She was right. like, oh, she wanted, boy. she needed someone that she could push around, and that's why she'll get married again. Because women like that, they find dudes. It's always it's a vicious circle. Yeah, you'll always find a guy who's like, yes, dear. He yeah. thinks he wants that, but the, the problem guys don't understand is that women don't like yes, dear guys. Mm -hmm. So they uh, so eventually it becomes really fucking bad. I tell you, time is ticking away, motherfucker. I can't really see any guys being like, ooh, let's uh, <laughs> time really? tick tock, when motherfucker. When last time you seen a face? Tick tock. I don't even remember. I don't, I, I don't even remember. I what if she called? What if she Facebooked you and said? I miss you, and I and I just want to say I just want to say sorry for everything I put you through. Uh, if she gives back the money, yeah, give or me a back big chunk every, of it. Give me that'll, back that'll every be a dime. dime that she stole. You didn't get that money back in court. No. Oh no, no, that they that just, was long gone. They just were like that was no, just the no. beginning. That didn't get it back. I then had to pay more. Yeah, that was just the beginning. And then what's the what's the um Patrice? Hold on, there wasn't even that much in the ca more. the account. No, it's what, relative, it was everything speaking. to him. What's the statute of of, of alimony? Like, how long do you have to pay? It's all settled. It's a settlement. So, like, it, it could be, it could be forever. It could be forever. Yours was, was what? Ten years? Mine was as long as the marriage was. Nine years. How's that? And and, they, and and Dominic Barber, that 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 fuck, that lawyer, he actually wanted to put in that if she died, I'd have to pay her heirs and keep paying them <laughs> for the whole nine years. <laughs> yeah. But they must have wanted more than nine. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. They wanted more than nine. They she wanted more than on that. Nine. They wanted. Me. I settled on it. First day of trial. First day of trial. He's questioning me. I'm looking, and in the stand, there's a Daily News and a Post guy and photographer and shit. And I'm I'm having to say shit, and I'm like, you know what? I go, uh, Your Honor, I want to talk to her in a room. So I took her into a room. I said, Look, realistically, and I, I go, Don't be an idiot. What do you, What do you want? And she gave a figure out. I gave a figure out. We went back and forth a few times. I went, all right, I'll live with that. Let's fucking sign some papers and get this done. And that was it. Settled. And, and, and so it never you've went been to off trial. the hook for how long? Like three years? Uh, I've been off the hook for, for three years, yeah. Oh, how, does that feel? Oh, oh. Now, does that money just, do you notice it not being gone every month now? Yeah, I kind of do. Like you nice. used to be like, oh, shit, that Yeah, yeah, money. yeah. I ain't got a raise. To deal with that. A few years back. Was yeah, it yeah. low fives? High fours. It was. Uh, I can't go into any figures. Not no. I mean, uh, uh, like you know, four digits, five di high five digits, low four digits, high five digits. 
You're talking hundreds of thousands every few months. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding. It was it was infuriating. Infuriating. For nine years. Yeah. For nine years. Yeah. Nine years. Nine years. <laughs> Holy. Let's you are that. so lucky you didn't come in that bitch. Oh, my God. Exactly. That's what I think of all the time. <laughs> I think all the time, like, thank God I pulled out. I fucking faked it. I fucking came so many times. There was probably you two are... sperm left. Because you, your kid would only been four, right? No, seven. No, no, no. Not From old. 95. 2005. No, I think about 16 years 16 old now. right now. It would be 16? Yeah. Well, no, because you were married to shit. a 90s and got married. Yeah. You didn't have anything for five. Five years. That would have been 95. So if you had got her pregnant when you on wanted schedule, to. On schedule, it would have been 95. Schedule. Okay, on schedule. That's a 16-year-old now. That's a 16-year-old. So you would have two more years. No, no, no. So now, five more years. Yeah. <laughs> plus, plus, plus the kid would be a teenager now, and he would be a complete asshole. And I'd today. still oh, be paying. treating you like wait. fucking dirty dad. And I'd still be paying child support. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For another five years. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Dad, uh, he'd be over there with his fucking young girlfriends in your pool. Well, that would have been the one good part. <laughs> oh, bring one over for me, son. <laughs> oh, I would have just been banging my kids' fucking girlfriends. Fuck it. Uh.